there are a lot of people in the United States, purely based on the data, who are experiencing subclinical uh, insufficiencies related to either uh, circulating levels of micronutrients or actual intakes of nutrients. Uh, and, and those can very easily be rectified with, uh, with supplementation strategies that are very cost effective, have an extremely good safety profile, and do have the potential for some benefit. Uh, another thing I often see when people push back against this is they'll be like, dude, vitamins are useless. And they'll send me a study and it'll be like a big randomized controlled trial. And they'll say like, people with uh, people taking multivitamins didn't live longer. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't think you were going to die yeah. from, from not taking a multivitamin. It's, it's a matter of like, are you hitting these, these benchmarks for adequate intake? And if not, might you have a better subjective experience day to day and be in a generally healthier place if you were hitting those benchmarks for adequate intake? Yeah, I, I, I've seen that as well with uh, with vitamin D. Like a, a couple people have hit me up on Instagram uh, saying like, hey, Eric has talked about uh, vitamin D supplementation on the podcast before. Uh, new study just came out. Turns out that supplementing with vitamin D doesn't improve strength and hypertrophy outcomes. I'm like... That's really cool, but did you know that vitamin D interacts with more things in your body than your musculoskeletal system? That uh, may be relevant. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that, that that's really just the 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 root of any disagreement. Like, uh, you know, sometimes, and it, it's important to recognize, like, if you say, "I don't think I need a multivitamin," "I don't think I need vitamin D," "I don't think I need fish oil," like. It's very unlikely that you're going to experience uh, a clinically relevant negative consequence of not taking any of these supplements. Like, I don't consider them to be essential, um, but for people who are not being mindful of their intakes of these nutrients and are not getting sun exposure, I do recommend, uh, in many cases, very conservative supplementation uh, approaches, which might be as simple as a multivitamin and just enough fish oil to get you close to what what experts say is an advisable intake of fish oil. So I don't think you're going to really make or break your health or your uh, performance or your training adaptations by using uh, any of these categories of supplements. But I do view them as supplements that, uh, aside from some very specific instances, generally have terrific safety profiles and generally are quite affordable. 